today we're driving the 2020 Toyota Avalon TRD. Oh yeah, you can hear the catback exhaust there, paired with that 3.5 liter V6. We have 301 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque, an 8-speed automatic transmission with a TRD shift knob. It's lower, it's got stiffer suspension and body structure. Are they trying to make the Avalon a race car? Well, not quite. I'm a little bit torn between the Avalon TRD just trying to bring attention back to the Avalon and uh, Toyota just trying to spice up the Avalon name and reach a different type of customer. Let's walk you around this TRD, show you what it's all about. It wasn't too long ago when we had the Toyota Camry TRD, and uh, this has a lot of the similar running gear. However, I will say it is quite a bit nicer to drive. Same platform, just a little bit larger. This Avalon, though, still pretty aggressive, but it doesn't have the crazy spoiler that the Camry TRD does. It's got your body kit, your TRD exhaust, lots of space on the inside. The Avalon is a nice package. It's very roomy, it's very spacious, it's a little bit more luxurious. And the ride quality on this is quite good too compared to the Camry TRD. We're gonna get into all that on the test drive. This Avalon is $43,000. So still a little bit pricey. Personally, I prefer the hybrid. I think the Avalon hybrid is fantastic. And if you're going to be spending this kind of money, that's probably what I would swing for. But in the TRD, you get red seat belts. And uh, oh, this has the JBL audio. We'll be testing that a little bit later, too. I do like the interior on this. It does break up the uh, multiple shades of gray that we get in the standard Avalons. You get this little Alcantara insert here, red stitching, a strange tombstone shaped center stack, but I think it's pretty well integrated. All the performance enhancements here are either visual or in the chassis. So let's take this thing for a drive, see what it's like. We'll give you another taste of this uh, exhaust here. Sounds pretty good, actually. So we have Apple CarPlay, all that good stuff. Your pretty standard Toyota gauge displays here. Pre-collision, Toyota Safety Sense, all that good stuff. See our MPG there this week, about 25, 26 miles to the gallon. This is rated for 22 in the city, 31 on the highway. Let's take it for a drive. Like I mentioned earlier, this Avalon TRD is quite a bit nicer to drive than the Camry TRD. The transmission is tuned a little bit better. The suspension isn't as abrasive. And uh, as a nice handling sedan, I think it performs pretty well. Non-adjustable dampers. So you just get one setting. And the suspension is tuned quite nicely. It's not rough or harsh. And it does minimize body roll quite a bit over the normal Avalon. I do like that the cat back in this is just a little bit more muted. It actually sounds pretty good. It's a nice, pleasing tone. And in sport mode, the paddle shifters are quite responsive. Everywhere else, though, they are very lazy. We've got a very bumpy road up here, harsh impacts. 
the longer wheelbase and the, just the larger dimensions of this Avalon do help with the ride quality quite a bit. See how it handles a corner. Pretty good mechanical grip. I can feel there's some electronic trickery going on in the background, getting that front end to turn in and the vehicle rotated around the corners. It's not quite the most engaging experience. You're still in a Toyota Avalon, but it's definitely a sportier drive than the standard Toyota Avalon. It's funny because this is a kind of a confusing car to look at and think about. The Avalon didn't really need this treatment. But at the same time, I have a theory that Toyota brought it out just to bring a little bit more attention to their Avalon. It does drive very well. It's smooth, the power level is nice. It's definitely not as aggressive or as exciting as the styling would suggest. Reported on the road but ahead. as a sporty sedan, it's not bad. Is this a construction zone or a slalom? In the Avalon TRD, you don't know. Don't slalom through construction zones. Don't do that, it's a bad idea. We have three drive modes, Eco, Normal, and Sport. And i pretty hard-pressed to tell the difference between the three. All I notice is that the gauge cluster turns green in Eco and red in Sport. The transmission can be a little bit slow to kick down if you're just cruising and you want to make a pass. But wind noise is pretty reserved. There's not a lot of intrusion cabin despite these large 19 inch wheels. I'm happy to report that Toyota hasn't ruined the Avalon with this TRD package. It's still quite a nice sedan to drive. So how can we sum up this Avalon TRD? Well, I think for the money, the Camry TRD is probably the better buy because it's the cheapest way to get into the V6, but it does have its shortcomings. This Avalon TRD, I think, addresses a lot of those, but you're paying a lot more money for one. Of course, you're getting a Toyota Avalon as a result, but personally, I would swing for a Lexus ES if you're in this price point and you want a more luxurious uh, option from Toyota or Lexus. That said though, on its own, this Avalon TRD is quite good. It's definitely not as sporty as like the Honda Accord 2 liter turbo with the 10 speed, um, but it has a V6 and the Accord no longer has a V6. So something to consider there. It's good to see that Toyota is putting a little bit more emphasis on performance these days. And uh, this Avalon does a pretty decent job, though I would like to see some more performance bits on their TRD products. 
All right, guys, that wraps up my thoughts on the Avalon TRD. We're going to do a uh, JBL sound system test after this. And so if you want to listen to that, stay tuned. Otherwise, that'll be the end of my driving impressions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.
Thoughts on this JBL? It's okay. It doesn't impress like some other JBLs have in the past. It feels a little bit more like a standard bass audio system than the, the high end. I believe it's like a $1,400 extra, maybe a little more. Again, Lexus ES, Mark Levinson. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.